Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the big news. Yes guys, the CPI inflation rising to 9.1% in the month of June, higher than expected. What does this mean for Ethereum as well as the crypto market? Make sure to watch the whole video because I will explain what this means as well as going over Ethereum price news, technical analysis, and how it reacted to the breaking news. With that said, this is DC Trading. If you want to stay updated with crypto, make sure to subscribe and absolutely turn on the post notifications because I always keep you updated every single day. With that said, let's get right into it. With breaking news, yes, guys, U.S. inflation, the CPI, actually rose 9.1%, higher than expected. It was expected, actually, to go to 8.8% .8 in the month of June, but instead, it actually rose to 9.1%. This is horrible, guys. This is bad news yes if you want to read this article make sure you guys you know click the link in the description down below but we're going to be talking about ethereum now and how does this affect ethereum eth so first off let's go to the liquidations how it reacted to the news Currently, in the past 24 hours, <clears throat> looking at all of the cryptos, $235 million have been liquidated in the past 24 hours. But if you look at the past four hours, because about two hours ago was when the news of the CPI data coming out was released <clears throat> this caused a slight dump for ethereum to go as low as a thousand dollars as a result a hundred and twenty nine million dollars have been liquidated in all of crypto if we look specifically at ethereum the past 24 hours, 89 million has been liquidated. 54 million in the past four hours have been liquidated with the news of the U.S. CPI. This is very, very bad, guys. I'm telling you, a lot of people got liquidated in the past hour, 8.39. And actually, if you look at BTC, it got less liquidated compared to Ethereum, as you guys can see. This is a lot of liquidations occurring. So now, guys, we are going to be looking at Ethereum price. Currently, it's at 1060 It did actually recover very well because if you look, it was as high as 1100 And then some when the news came out, it went as low as... 1090 but it is recovering and going back into this chart pattern which i do expect ethereum to break down in the near future but that's for another video we're going to see how it reacted looking at a shorter time frame see guys as you guys can see the four hour time frame it was recovering back to this support that we drew but with the news of the CPI at 9.1%, it dropped drastically down to 1,000 very quickly, but managed its way back up as recovering. But as a result, a lot of people got liquidated in Ethereum, as you guys can see. So as I said, it did, it did create this ascending triangle we are still, you know, following this. It didn't break through fully, but guys, this might be a fake out. We might see 
lower lows. Just expect that, guys. Just keep that in mind. We might see it. But there was a slight wick all the way down to 1,000. It is recovering very well because, as stated previously, you know, the price of the crypto market for Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all of cryptos have taken to an account of the CPI coming out and probably doing worse than expected, which we did expect already. It was going to be worse, 9.1%. But guys, we're still not out of the loop of, you know, the crypto market tanking because there is a FOMC meeting on July 26th through the 27th. As stated previously in the last meeting, they are expected to raise it to 70 basis points, the interest. But with this news of the CPI, guys, coming out to 9.1% higher than expected, there is a possibility it can rise to 100 basis points. This will absolutely destroy the crypto market if this happens, and we must pay attention to this date, guys. I'm telling you, pay attention to July 26th, which is in two weeks. Because, remember last meeting, it was, you know, it, it was crazy to think we would raise it to 75 basis points, but they did. So, we can't keep that out of the equation, the 100 basis points. It is possible, especially with the news of a 9.1%. But overall, right now, we are following this ascending triangle currently we are going to wait and see how it reacts we still have two weeks we may see a recovery and like i said my price prediction currently for ethereum by the end of sunday will be around 1060 to 1050 but let's look at you know a technical analysis if we look here but as you guys can see, it did get liquidated a lot right here. You see the volume. We did touch the bottom of the Bollinger Band, the second one. We were in the oversold. We did cross briefly, and then we, you know, took off. But then we saw a big wick, but we covered very well. So right now, it looks as if we are going to be consolidating around this a thousand to 1060 to 1070 area so not that much it did it didn't react very badly if you think about it it just went down to a thousand briefly and went back up but guys what does this mean well guys for right now we don't really have to worry because as you guys can see, it didn't break down all the way. It did recover, so we don't have to worry as much. But on July 26th, this is when we have to worry for Ethereum and the crypto market because it can get shaken up if the interest basis points rise to 100. With that said, this is DC Trading. Make sure to hit the like button if you made it this far. And might as well subscribe because you made it this far. And I will be back with a Bitcoin analysis. So make sure to check that out right after this. See you guys. Peace.